The University of Cambridge has launched a game that people can play on their phones to find out what it's really like being a scientist. Called Dish Life, you pick a character, launch your career and then navigate through everything from lab work to dealing with office politics and ethical dilemmas. Yeah, I think a surprising aspect of the game was the um, aspect of teamwork. So I think people don't realise just how important that is. It's a very fundamental skill that a scientist should have. To work in the field is not just about, you know, you being independent and chasing your own project. It's actually about coming together in a team. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Shell and Science. I'm Shell and I'm in science. And today we are in the lab and today is actually kind of weird because I'm not really doing lab stuff, but I'm filming with the BBC. Um, and we are filming about a new game called Dish Life that is meant to be interactive to show you what it's like to work as a stem cell researcher. So I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of the filming, which is quite exciting because you never really get days like this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So we've got our filming. Hello. Hello. Say hi. So Karen actually um, was involved in directing and filming the Dish Life video, right? Uh, uh, producing. Producing, my bad. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we were just talking about how the video, we really, really enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave a link down below to the video so you can see what she did. Really, really cool. And that's kind of what has, I think, established this whole idea, right? Yes. So we started out as a film together with Loriana and Chloe mm -hmm. and as a team of three and we, we came up with this idea of the pool and the kids yeah. and then we it got so much traction and we won a couple of awards. A couple of... she's been humble then. <laughs> So we wanted to see how we could sort of ex explore the project further and that's where the idea of the game came from. Guys, okay, I don't know when the game is going to be released but I will again... Oh, today, right. When yes. this video is out, the game is going to be released and I'm going to leave a link down below. Um, you guys, go play the game. Leave a comment down below on what you think it is about the game. It's really, really cool. Check it out. It's available on... Apple iOS, mm -hmm. Google uh, Play, Play yeah. and Steam platform for PC as well. Ah, so, great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dress yeah. up. And uh, can we get coats on? Have we got yeah. spare coats? Uh, probably if you're not on camera, you're probably all right. So we have Ant who's taking B rolls. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm vlogging the whole yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah. So it's really cool. But to just physically get everyone in. No, no, no. And then these three are the ones they might not need to speak to camera, I guess. They might be just doing well, no, stuff. No, I think or we maybe... do need a little <laughs> oh, bit. Okay. There'll be right. a bit of leaning in and what's it actually like to do your job. So there'll be a bit of that as well. well we could actually just, we could interview you all, but then I, and I could just make a decision in the edit. Yeah. And then it, won't be, it won't be personal. be the first one I, I come to. Um, So, the video. Yeah, so what we'd actually ideally need is <laughs> if we could get used. So how are you guys feeling? Yeah, quite excited. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be re researchers. Although we are, we are researchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because this is like, we don't, this is your lab space, so we're gonna be infringing into your territory today. Like, not really my lab space. Well, do your work. group. <laughs> like, this is my lab space. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is basically behind the scenes. You can see... Hi. Hey. <laughs> you can see the ant doing close-up shots. Um, Really cool. I have to say, it's a bit um, weird to be literally filming where on the other side of the glass there are people actually working, and we're just here, just like, yeah, we're working. <laughs> Yeah, 
what we're going to do now is I'm going to sort of bring you in like, well, you'll see, we're going to try to bring you in like you're in a video game. So we're just going to quickly ask you about the daily job, what it's like, and playing the game, is it kind of realistic, sort of time frame, but you know, what your job actually entails. Um, and then um, we just want to film them, so, so three of them chatting like that, and we've got one walking up to the camera, so that's the wall, and then I would do that. So do you mind standing over there? That's the three of you facing this way. So we have them on probably bigger. So they would be here yeah, symmetrical. Yeah, so they would be here. They would almost like be here like that. They'd kind of chatting. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> So I think yeah. not as close as that, just back a bit, <laughs> and then like, I'll put a bit of tape down. Yeah, I'll okay. Can we make one quick camera? Yeah. If you need to go to the bathroom, we can do this. Looking out for that. Sorry, anyway. Um, okay, so they... When I say go, first one. Go. How long, how long to push? So do you mind doing that again? And I'll drop my hand rather than say go this time. I'm alright, so we're moving. Yes. And then do we go straight after? Just wait for you. Perfect. Next. So if you go back. Yeah. Right. So guys, sorry for this one. No, 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 that's fine. Just carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so, what, what point have you got to on the game so far? So, I'm about, I've just about finished kind of um, the the first uh, first bit. I've done the mission so far, and uh, first my cells down. Um, if only increasing cells is just as easy, you know, in, in real life. Um, some want to write a bit better. I don't know. When you're sort of out in the real world, are you going to try and be a professor, or are you just going to stick to the game? Well, in the game, it takes about six to eight hours. I hear in the in real life it takes slightly longer. Okay, do that again. Let's say you become a professor. Okay. So yeah. So you know what what's the what's the sort of what's the, what's the most interesting part of the game? Do you enjoy it? Well I quite enjoy it how um, it only takes about six to eight hours to become a professor uh, in the game. Uh, in real life I think it takes a little bit longer than that. Perfect. Really good. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's great. Well done. Well done. Great. Next. Go, 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 go. You close uh, no, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry, you mind saying your name again? 
Okay, so to me now, so if you play the game, you know, what, what would you think of it? It's quite accurate, I have to say. So I do work with Brickwings and Cells, so as in the game, the first thing I do every time you get up. And when I come in the morning, so check my cells and feed them, make sure that I have a frozen stock. So it's, uh, it's pretty accurate. No, but you know, like, it's very difficult to explain the details of the job. Because when you say to someone, I think it's that it's going to do video It's because it really feels like it. But whereas having a visual way to understand what this is, it's a good way to us to engage with people in the job. Because it's kind of like a center piece in some of Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Did I say something stupid? No. <laughs> <laughs> if we... Oh wow, right, okay. <laughs> uh, like so we're gonna come around. Oh okay. so you Oh it's so high. Sorry, I'm just gonna be closer. There. Yes. Yes, don't move your chair back quickly. So it's all to me again. Okay. And just say your name quickly for the tape. Right. Oliver Shell. Okay, so you It sounds like feeding the cells like having a kid. It is. <laughs> constant need for Yeah. And especially so I work I've worked with mouse um embryonic cells and human um, stem cells. And I found out with human stuff, so they're a bit more needy where you have to feed them every single day. So sometimes that means coming in during the weekend to make sure that they're fed and they're happy. Do, do you hope that it gets more people into the, this kind of job? Yes, I really do. Um, it will be nice to see that people, you know, once they know, okay, this is what it is like to be in the job. And I actually feel inspired by that to um, chase that a bit more. So I think it's a bit, um, it can be quite ab abstract, you know, we talk about, oh, I work with stem cells and I feed cells, like, what is that? Um, but to see what it means to do that, to see that it's um, away from just feeding the cells, but it's also working with people and kind of interacting with people and um, to ensure that the cells are fed and happy. It might not be you just feeding the cells all the day, all the time, you know, your, your colleagues helping out as well. How much teamwork is there in science? A lot. It's a lot. I think it's one of the fundamentals of working in research and working in science in general because you can you just can't be a lone wolf, you can't just be a one man um, island. It really does take the whole team um, pulling together and um, in integrating different aspects to ensure that the project moves forward um, and you know we get good data. Great. Can I get a sort of standalone answer from you? Is where you sort of say, you know, one thing that comes out of the game is the teamwork, and that mm -hmm. is what science is like, you okay. know, which you might not think it is, but you know. Yeah. So something that works without my question. Okay. So if you can start off with, well, what, what do you think is a, a really important aspect of the game that people would be surprised at? Yeah, I think a surprising aspect of the game was the um, aspect of teamwork. So I think people don't realise just how important that is. It's a very fundamental skill that a scientist should have. To work in the field is not just about you know you being independent and chasing your own project. It's actually about coming together in a team and trying to tackle the project, the questions at hand, as um, together. So yeah, that is very, um, it's very cool thing that the game does bring up. Brilliant. That's great. Great. Right. Thank well you very much. <laughs>
a bit like that perhaps, but of course that's far from the reality. So the University of Cambridge has launched a game to show what the job is really like. It's called Dish Life. You can play it on your phone and I've uh, been having a go at it today. It's actually great fun. Uh, you create your own scientist. Look, there's mine. Uh, and then you just kind of get on with it. You can grow your own stem cells, work out ethical dilemmas. You even have to navigate a bit of office politics. Um, our science correspondent, Richard Westcott, can explain a little bit more. I'm sure you've heard of stem cell science. Put simply, it's making healthy cells to replace damaged ones, and it could save your life one day. But what's it like to actually do the job? These are stem cell scientists. What do they do all day? Well, now you can see for yourself. This is Dish Life, a phone game designed by scientists and sociologists from Cambridge University. Pick your character and start your career. We want to break down stereotypes about what a scientist looks like, what a scientist, where he comes from, what his background and how he should behave, and also this idea that scientists are uh, more without emotions sometimes. Uh, it's, it's definitely not the case. To get on, you have to do all the legwork in the lab constantly feeding your hungry stem cells, publishing your results in journals. But there's office politics too. So people encounter a gender pay gap, for example. They may encounter discrimination issues. You have trans rights issues coming up, um, issues about maternity leave and um, how you balance family life and uh, work life. Do you use your fingers to move your colleagues around the lab? I think it's great fun, actually. I think it's uh, quite, quite similar to what I do in day-to-day -day life. In the morning, the first job is always to feed the cells because they always, they're very needy. They uh, require a lot of food to keep them going and to make sure they're not contaminated with bacteria and they're all completely kept sterile. I think the game itself is a very good tool also for other people to understand what we do. Um, and I was thinking it's actually like something great that I could send to my parents to know how my everyday life is. Yeah, I think a surprising aspect of the game was the um, aspect of teamwork. So I think people don't realise just how important that is. It's a very fundamental skill that a scientist should have. To work in the field is not just about, you know, you being independent and chasing your own project. It's actually about coming together in a team. Yes, the aim of the game is to become a professor running a successful lab. But it's also to change the stereotype of a scientist. Well, Richard's with me now. Oi, Richard. Hang on, I'm just yeah. sorting we're, out we're on. One, Come on. <laughs> one of my colleagues. <laughs> it's really addictive. I'm getting a promotion. Oh, it, it, is, ad it is addictive. <laughs> I mean, that's the point of it. And they've done a game because they know, you know, everyone loves playing games. It's not just kids, let's be honest. We all kind of like fill those moments with a lap game. Yeah. And they want to reach as many people as possible. But, I mean, what they were all saying, the team who developed it there, was it's not just about recruiting new people into science, which they always need to do. You know, they always need that kind of talent coming along. They also just want everybody to kind of know what they do all day, to not see them as sort of up on a pedestal maybe, you know, working away in a in isolation, like we're saying, the lone wolf kind of character coming up with sort of genius kind of solutions to things. Because that is what they people want to, tend want to, say, to you know, think, They go in every day, so it's teamwork. We yeah. all look each other, we're talking about looking after cells. They literally treat them like children. I mean, they'll say, can you look after my cells today because I've got to go away and I'll look <laughs> after yours tomorrow because I've got to go to a school play or whatever. So it's, it's, they just want to bring out all of those aspects to change the perception of who's a scientist and who can be a scientist as well, and to show you can fit it in with family life as well. And it, and it's not just children, is it? It's for everyone to have a go at. I mean, we've had great fun today. Absolutely, yeah. Like all of these games, like we'll pretend we don't do it. We'll still, like disappear <laughs> off when the kids are noisy and just have a little five minutes or something on, on a phone game. Yeah, they just want everyone to have a go at it. And, you, you know, you can see why. I'm going to let you get on and enjoy that promotion yes, thanks now, very Richard. Much. Yeah. Oh, no, I've lost it now to some other <laughs> guy. You can blame me. <laughs> Next tonight. Um...